Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how we can evolve our population to have a new population. If you remember, genetic algorithms are iterative. So in each iteration, we have a population. We'll try to find the best solution in that population. If you don't find them, then we evolve that solution in the next iteration, i.e. I'm sorry, not evolve the solution, but evolve the population, i.e. maybe have a new population in the next iteration and so on and so forth. So the idea is at each, itera at each iteration, we will try to have a new population of candidate solutions and we'll try to keep hold of good candidate solutions from the previous iteration, i.e. we will try to have some degree of elitism as we explained before. So how we're going to do this is as follows. Uh, we will loop through the previous or maybe the current uh, 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 um, population we will choose two chromosomes we explain the roulette wheel selection method so we'll use that we'll choose two chromosomes two, two candidate solutions we'll try to apply crossover randomly uh, if no crossover happens then we will choose the best of them to add it to the to add it to the new population so this is the degree of elitism that we will have a fight between the two chromosomes that we randomly chose and having a fight basically we will, we will compare the fitness and then the best one is the one with the high fit with the higher fitness in our case uh, and then we'll try to apply crossover if no crossover happens then we we'll keep the good one and after that after we fill the population our size remember is 30 so after we have 30 new chromosomes then we will again loop through the population and to try to apply random mutation randomly means it can happen or it cannot happen as we will see and this is the code as you can see in front of you let me resize this so we can fit it in the screen here um, the idea here is to do the following we assume of course that our, our population has been uh, um, initialized it's declared globally so we can access it here there's no uh, input uh, parameter and the, the method doesn't return anything so we create a new population of population size which is 30 and 10 line segments each so the chromosome length is 10 now we just keep track uh, uh, of the um, basically the index of as we mentioned we want to choose a winner from two uh, uh, chromosomes what we do is we loop through the population this is the previous population now and we randomly select two elements using the uh, roulette wheel selection method we've explained the implementation of this before we make sure that two elements are different they must be different this is why do we have this two while loop here and then what we do is We'll have a fight, see which one of them has the best genes, i.e. we'll just compare the fitness of the two uh, um, chromosomes that we chose, A and B, right? So, eval solution is our uh, fitness method. It will evaluate um, the solution at index A and at index B, and we will see if the fitness value of A is larger than B, then the winner will be A, the loser will be B, otherwise the winner will be B and the loser will be A, right? So this is our uh, winner chromosome, the best of the two that we have chosen. Then what we do is we just keep track of it. We just save it into this temporary variable because what we want to do now is we just randomly apply crossover. So we have a variable called, called crossover rate between 0 and 1 and then we just generate a random number between 0 and 1 and see if that number is less than crossover rate then we apply crossover this is just a, a way of uh, applying randomness right and then what we do is we save that element okay into the new population and then we loop again until we do the 30 elements after that we loop again through the elements now of the new population and again randomly try to apply mutation we have a variable called mutation rate and um, if it's if we generate a random number between 0 and 1 if it's less than that mutation rate then we apply it of course you can say for example larger than instead of, instead of less than it's up to you the way you want to do it and then we just up here we apply scramble mutation but we saw before that 
we explain four methods we have a swap mutation and so on and so forth right and then we just the now old population we just replace it with the new population hope it makes sense this is how we can evolve the population at every iteration of our algorithm by the way I have not explained the fitness function yet I'll do that in the next video thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time